Okay, so welcome to lab four. We're going to go over troubleshooting DNS. Um, this is part of lab nine, which is configuring DNS records found in the Microsoft Official Academic Course Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 in preparation for exam 70-411. <coughs> In exercise 9.2, we used the NSLOOKUP to show name and IP resolution. However, during that exercise, you use NSLOOKUP and other ways to test the DNS. You will also use DNS built-in tools to test the DNS. The mindset behind this is that because DNS is an essential service that can bring any network down when it is not available, you need to know how to troubleshoot it. Microsoft provides several tools to help you troubleshoot DNS problems, including ipconfig, command, the DNS lookup command, and the DNS console. The approximate time for completion of this exercise is 10 minutes. So again, I'm going to jump right to question 17. What command would you use to show the DNS server a client is using? And it's going to be the IP config. So now I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Right click, and I'm going to go right into command prompt. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in ns lookup pc1.adatum.com, enter. And we see that the pc1.adatum has an address of 192.168.1.201. Now to start lookup in interactive mode, we're just going to type in ns lookup, enter. All right, so now we're going to type in set space type equals S-O-A. Enter. And then we're going to type in adatum.com. Enter. All right, if you're following along your lab manual at this point, you would take the next screenshot. And we'll go ahead and close out of our command prompt. All right, so I've closed out of my DNS manager console, but I'm going to go ahead and reopen it back up. And again, there's a couple of ways to do it. I could easily go here, click on tools, go into DNS, but I want to show you a different way to do it. Let me minimize this, go here, down. We can click on DNS from here. It's the same exact thing, just a different way to get there. All right, so we're going to right click on RWDC01 and go into properties. And we're going to click on the monitoring tab. We're going to select to enable the following settings. We're going to set a simple query against the DNS server and then a recursive query to other DNS servers. And we're going to click on test now. Okay, and here we have our simple query passed. Recursive failed. All right, if you're following along in your lab manual, this would be where you would take your next screenshot. Question 18, did either simple query or recursive query fail? If a failure occurred, why did it fail? Well, the simple query passed with the, recurs the recursive query will fail if you do not have internet access. And keep in mind that we did not set up the RWDC with internet access. It only has the one internal switch. <clears throat> okay, and that is the end of, we're going to click on OK. We're going to go ahead and end this video because this is the end of this exercise. The next video, we will be looking at lab 10 and reviewing the installing configuring RAS 
configuring VPN server and client, configuring split tunneling, configuring routing, and resetting servers.